Hello guys and girls, welcome to another unboxing video and today we have a little unique box for us all and this particular mystery box comes from a shop close by they opened about three or four months ago and, it, and they've just started doing mystery boxes so I walked past and they were in the window and the shop is called Nerd Nook Okay, so I went in, obviously, saw mystery boxes in the window. It's a, a, an instant magnet drawer for myself. And um, I had a look and it's 20 quid. So I thought, hmm, that's not a bad price for a mystery box. And then I also noticed that they're actually themed. And so, obviously, I picked up a DC themed. So I got talking to the people inside the shop and the lady said that she put it together herself. And when I told her that I did videos on YouTube and I've been unboxing stuff for over two years and I've got quite a few followers. And I said it's all about quality and value. She looked a little bit like, ooh, bugger. So I got one anyway and this is the unboxing for the Nerd Nook. So as with any unboxing video, if... It is good what I pull out of the box. I will give it an up. And if it's not so good, then I'll give it a down. And then we'll do pricing at the end to make sure that what comes out of the box is worth the volume which we pay for. So like I said, this is from Nerd Nook and it costs 20 quid. So let's get into it. Oh, and it's DC themed as well. So. Uh, oh, okay. Straight away. Oh, this. All right. Okay. So this feels like a Funko Pop. We've got a plush. Nice. And there's a few other boxes. So let's get into it. Ooh, okay. Oh, that's off a... Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's an exclusive. Oh, it's an exclusive. I haven't got my glasses. Bugger. All right, so this is Dr. Moreau. Maru? Dr. Maru, the uh, the gas bird off of um, the original Wonder Woman film. And then it's a... Uh, it's a... Uh, it's a... Uh, and uh, something. It's an uh, exclusive... Legion of Collectors. Oh, there we are then. So it's a, a Legion of Collectors special edition exclusive DC. Whatever that means. So it might be worth a little bit more money than a normal Fungo Pop, but there we go. So we're off to a good start. That is an up. I do really enjoy the original Wonder Woman film, and they 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 completely went and just messed everything up with what is it, eight nineteen eighty four or whatever the damn film was. I don't know. Let's go with the plush. Oh, yes. Fantastic. It's another Funko item. Okay, so this is a specific Funko plush, obviously, Batman. And then it's got the little pop tag there. That is stunning. For a plush, I've actually got a very nice collection of plushes at the top there. I also have... Um... A full collection of the McDonald's toy plushes when they got I've got all seven of them so this is Cyborg I've got uh, Robin Batman Batgirl Joker Harley Quinn I've got them all so I do I do love my plushes to be fair and that is that's rather nice so I am gonna be giving that an up um, I've just looked in the box there are four items left um, one of them, uh, I'm just like, what the heck is that? So, um, okay. Another Funko item. Oh, it's the, yeah, 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 yeah. Wow. I saw the little box from the back and I, I knew it, what it was, but this is amazing. This is the Joker Funko Pop, uh, key ring from the deceased, uh, variant. And it says in the bottom corner... That it's a GameStop exclusive. So that might even be worth some money as well. Wow, wow, wow. But yet again, another Funko... Is it, are they a Funko shop? Nerd Nook? Are they specifically sponsored by or a offshoot of Funko Pops? I don't know. Um, so... I saw this. Are these Funko as well? These are... For, it is. It's all Funko. It must be. This is what? The fourth... Funko item now. Right, okay, let's get into this. This is a mystery box. In a mystery box. Um, we've had this before. In fact, we've had this twice before, and we pulled out the same character twice. And we pulled out the fire guy from Suicide Squad. Can't remember his name. 
Um, but yeah, the guy that can shoot fire out of his fingers. So I'm kind of hoping... I'm kind of hoping for Harley Quinn. I love the Harley Quinn. But I will take a Joker if I have to. Um, so let's see what we've got. Love these boxes. They're so easy to get into. Ah! Ooh. Okay. I have my knife, but I don't have my glasses. Usually it's the other way around. <gasps> yes! <laughs> Uh, I'll put a closer pod screen, but it is Harley Quinn. Oh, my goodness gracious me. Exactly what I was hoping for. That is fantastic. All of this is an up. I don't know if I've been, if I've been given these ups yet, uh, but the, obviously the deceased, the Joker, Joker, da 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 da, da they're all ups. Um, let's get the other one. Oh, this is different. Oh, right, okay. So uh, I'm not too bothered about... This is um, like an Aquaman um version of what i've just opened that was a suicide squad this is aquaman i won't be i don't know aquaman hits different for me at the minute i don't know what it is i do love the aquaman film don't get me wrong right let's get in let's, uh, right so we've got another mystery box in a mystery box this is yet another funko item obviously because it's from the same series oh is that a limited edition doodah I'll put a close-up on screen for you, but this is, looks like sort of limited edition because it's the only one of its kind. But it's like a weird blue see-through one, so that is quite a nice addition to my collection. That's not bad. I don't understand why it's all blue. Obviously, well, okay, it's water, duh. But um, I don't know, is it a limited edition of some kind? <laughs> Who knows? Um, so, yes, yeah, so that's an ab. And um, Okay. So this is the last item. This is the biggest. But this is also the last item of the box. So, so far, considering it's all Funko, there is some value to this box. So I'll give it its, uh, I'll give it its dues. <sighs> okay, so this is a set of four melamine plates. I don't know what melamine is. Is that a, a sort of plastic? Or is it a sort of sort of ceramic I don't know so let's get into them they feel plastic yeah they are they're they're kids plastic plates so the first one is that one so that one's pretty cool okay all right so we've got paper separating them um that one's that one he's throwing his batarang uh He's, I wouldn't say he's, no, yeah, he's, he's in a, a pouncing pose, I suppose, where he, before he throws himself off of a building. And then the last one then is Batman fighting. So they're actually pretty cool plates. Not really for me, potentially keep them for like, if we do barbecues next year, because these are like really good sized plates for like barbecue food. So you can go around and you've got your little buffet and whatnot. Um, but I will give it an up. Fair play. That would be interesting to find out how much these plates are going for. Is this a Funko item? Because everything else is. It is. They're Funko plates. So this is a full Funko DC box from the Nerd Nook. Interesting. Very interesting. So it's there's obviously some sort of sponsorship or some sort of... Uh, I think it might be a Funko owned shop and obviously they plow it full of Funko because the majority of the stuff in there, fair play, is uh, Funko Pops to be fair. But they had a massive pickle rick in the window and I was mm, I was so tempted to get it. I wanted a pickle rick and it's huge. It's like it's like this big. It's like three foot tall. It's amazing. Um, right. So I'm going to do some pricing. I'll be back in a tick. <laughs> So, after doing some prices on the internet, it's not a bad total fair play. This is just bananas. Um, elephant in the room, let's do the plates first. Now, I cannot find these plates anywhere. These plates, it's a pack of four plates. I can find them on eBay, and they're ranging from a fiver to £25. Um, I think we'll keep it in the realms of reality and call it a tenner. 
because uh, they're Funko items, so they're not cheap as it is anyway. It's a set of four plates, and they're rare as fudge. So I'm going to give them a tenner. Okay, so the Funko plush Batman. Cheapest I could find it. You can pick it up for like three or four quid on eBay. Blah, standard. But to get it from an actual retailer, you're talking about £12 for the plush. That is bananas. Um, right, so the two Suicide Squad... No, it's not two Suicide Squads, but the Suicide Squad Harley Quinn, which I'm absolutely loving because it's not the fire guy again, and then the weird Aquaman thing. Um, I'm going to give these about £4 a pop. Um, that's generally how much they cost anyway. Um, right, so using the Funko app, because it's uh, none of this that I've just done is on the Funko app, even though it's Funko products. The only two to appear on there is obviously the Pops, because uh, this is a keyring. The Deceased Joker Special Edition or Limited Edition or GameStop Edition, whatever you want to call it, that came in at £7. Uh, that's how much it's valued at. This one was the shocker. Because Funko right now are valuing this at £17. Which is a little bit like, because nah, this is 17 quid. It's a Funko item. Funko thinks that this is £17. Now, if I'm correct in saying that the Nerd Nook is an offshoot or very related to or whatever to Funko in any way, shape or form. They're selling mystery box for 20 quid and yet one of the main items in there is worth 17. So this box is just mind-blowingly great on value. I was expecting, I have to admit, I was expecting it to be a little bit mm, naff um, because the woman... <laughs> The look on the woman's face when uh, I said, look, what I'm after is quality and uh, and value. And she was like, oh, I hope it's good then because uh, I put these together myself type of thing. So, um, so yeah, and it, uh, honestly, I might even go in and get uh, one of the other themed ones. I'm sure there was, I think there was a Marvel one or something along those lines. I'll have to have a look because I'm heading into town this weekend anyway. So I will have to have a look. But on the whole, the Nerd Nook mystery boxes are fantastic they are bananas and everything's funko so the value's there before you've even started and cost considering this cost us 20 quid main item 17 that's ridiculous don't get me wrong everything in their shop is massively overpriced like the pops are like 15 to 20 quid on a good day you know what i mean um it's massively overpriced don't get me wrong but to do a mystery box with this value in it for 20 quid, it's game over. Game over. Crack on. Carry on doing what you're doing, love. This is a good box. Well done. Thank you very much. I don't know. Did I pick up a lucky box? Is this the one in the whole stack that is actually a value and the rest of them is filled with jank? I don't know. Uh, but there we go. So that's my video. Don't forget to comment, like, share and subscribe. I shall see you again soon. But I shall see you sooner if you follow me on Twitch and you can come and watch me play games and uh, have a chat and just generally socialise with me. I'm usually on there Mondays, Wednesdays and Thursdays. Uh, so go check that out. Solid Snake 2662. Ta-da!